Fe mo di ye jame. In fe no ko ye bi ye. Good people it's your girl Suhaida coming your way with another video yes I have been thinking long and hard whether or not to make this video but this morning I woke up and for some reason I can't seem to get it off my mind so we are going to just say it aren't we so last week on Instagram I asked if you would like to hear an argument from me because there are so many things I have stewing inside that I would like to bring to the fore and have be discussed you need to understand that Everybody has their opinions. I have mine, a whole lot of them, and I don't think most of them are agreeable with what many people in society think. At the same time, I feel like they need to be shared because I have a right to express them. Perhaps many of you can relate, and many of you could also enlighten me in order for me to further my knowledge acquisition, basically. So it's a win-win, and that is why we are doing this today. If you haven't subscribed at this point, please, I implore you to do so. It's one of the perks of running a YouTube channel, seeing growth and seeing engagements. It makes you happy and it makes you feel that you are seen. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification button so you are alerted of all my videos. If you think that Ghana has a valid reason for making students cut their hair, please put it in the comments below. And let's have a really frank decision based on facts and not on feelings so this argument has been burning on my heart for a while and today it must be had if you haven't hit the red button please go ahead and hit subscribe so we can continue quickly now it's been on the stove for a while so do you know why in ghana we are not allowed to grow our hair i will tell you we are not allowed to grow our hair in high schools and lower because of a colonially inherited law this law was made so that black people would have to cut their hair. Why? Our colonial masters felt that black hair was too messy, dirty, and uncivilized, and as such, they did not want to have that in their schools. So if you were any self-respecting parents who wanted your children to get ahead in life, it meant you had to let your children cut your hair. Is that something that, as a well-reasoning mother today, if some wise person comes to tell you that, I won't let your child go to school unless you cut her hair. Would you agree to it? No. But we have senselessly inherited this law and 60 why, why, why years after colonization, that law is still in practice. We go about every day cutting our children's hair, making fun of them when teachers put scissors in their hair, humiliating our dark-skinned girls because there is some law that says they can't grow their hair. A law that was instituted by white people to dehumanize and indignify black people. Are you kidding me? The latest reasons that have been used to prop up this law are as follows. One, it makes young girls look very innocent and very young and as such, they are not taken advantage of. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Do you live in Ghana where that is basically all that young girls go through? In schools, the authorities are sharing and chopping the girls. I'm not even saying it as a joke. These young girls are being exploited by their teachers. They are being exploited by their headmasters, headmistresses, housemistresses. We are not talking about this. Is it hair that will keep somebody from raping you? Then how come small children are still being raped? How come TIS, GIS, SOS are not recording high incidents of rape? And yet you are recording that in our government schools where girls are allowed to keep their hair short. Don't come at me with that excuse. Girls keeping their hair is not the reason why they are getting raped. The fact that the government is not checking teachers, the fact that GES is not doing its job and weeding out sexual molesters in schools, that is why young people are being raped and taken advantage of in school. Let us check ourselves and be real. Now, the second reason why we are given that girls need to cut their hair is that our hair is a distraction to the academic process because we do not learn. If this is so, then we should all be getting eight A's. If this is so, then we should be better than kids in Canada. We should be better than kids in South Africa. We should be better than kids who are allowed to grow their hair in school. But this is not the case. You find that even in Ghana, the TIS, SOS, GIS, those kids who grow their hair are better off than us who went to government schools. Why? Because they have infrastructure. 
they have good teachers they can learn in safe environments is that the case for Ghanaian students no it is not Ghanaian students have to learn under trees they have to share textbooks they have to learn ICT when they've never seen a computer this is the standard we are reduced to and that is the impediment to our educational advancement not the fact that we grow our hair if we are allowed to grow our hair as children do you not think that it gives us the necessary skills to be able to keep it even when we get it tertiary it is now in university that i need to figure out how to grow my hair properly are you kidding me all these young girls that are rocking their black locks on instagram and the rest are they less intelligent because they keep their hair this notion in the 21st century only works for people who will not reason for themselves is all i'm saying and here is another thing why is it that it's just the dark-skinned girls that have to cut their hair why is it that it's just the girls who do not have money that have to cut their hair i went to krobo girls asha banda who was my senior kept a rough afro she had the most hair in the entire student populace why she was light-skinned she was almost white therefore she was excluded from the rule everybody had to go sakura or you face the punking and teachers enjoyed humiliating us by cutting our hair those teachers who were cutting hair come and cut my locks i am waiting for you come and cut it completely unnecessary and yet we subjugate students to this level of humiliation because some ancient law that ges will not do away with is held over our heads and as such we cannot even express ourselves i'm okay with you having a standard for hair growth maybe you grow your hair in cornrows grow your hair in locks keep a neat afro or cut your hair it makes sense but downright cut your hair because it restricts you from learning it's stupid you can agree with me that it's stupid so can we do away with it still on that point if all of us need to cut our hair then make it across board institutionalize and insist on it for every school in ghana can you do that no why can you not do that because people's parents are rich right there are rich people that can skirt the law and these same rich people are the ones that enforce the laws that break our necks in this country you sit there and say my daughter will go to tis and grow her long hair but you child of a farmer go to this government school and cut your hair is it fair is it fair mr minister is it fair or you sit there and say i want my child to go to gehe but i don't want my child to cut her hair and you find some fake quack doctor who will sign a letter for you to send to the school so that your child can be excused from cutting their hair because when money talks bullshit works and that law is bullshit so you can chase it away with your money ghana education service the ministry of education i am imploring you doing away with that law will not hurt anybody Keeping that law shows that we as Ghanaians lack direction and do not know how to bring up our own children. And as such, we rely on hateful laws made by our colonial masters to dictate for us. If we say we are people who have been elected to lead this country into a better world, to lead this country to a better place, then it starts with all these useless laws. Let's do away with them and see how good Ghana becomes. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please go ahead and do so. And if you'd like to hear more arguments from your girl, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. I am sure we all have opinions or many of you think I am being too rash, but if you think I am being too rash, I'm just telling you, get a helmet, cause this ride will be bumpy. It's just level one, honey. It's getting crazier. I want to give a special shout out to all my girls in Nima who have me looking this fabulous. This hair idea is conceptualized by me and I can say I pulled it off quite well with the help of my friend Ida. She helped with the places that were hard to reach and my beautiful henna design is by Amina. Thank you Amina. And my nails are from Sophia. She has a small nail place in Nima. Thank you guys so much for glamming me up and making me look beautiful. See you again same time next week with another exciting video. Thank you for coming. Quick shout out. Everybody who watches my video, you guys deserve shout outs. Samilia Alote, Dora Ama, Angela Otu, 
Benjamin Adiaba, Nahaja Adam, Gracie on Instagram, girl, the love is deep, Adam, William, um, who else? See, list your names down there. The shout out is going to keep coming because you guys, you are amazing and I love you. Onulo, see you later. Bye.